Hi friends and welcome back. I'm Chris. This is my friend Josh. This is a shorter version of a discussion on whether you should walk your dog using a collar and a leash or a harness and a leash. There's a longer version that gives a little bit more detail, but this is a short and sweet version. You want to have full control over your dog. You want to walk your dog safely. You want to take your dog safely into businesses, um, vacationing, traveling, etc. Collar, <coughs> collar and a leash every time, not a harness. A harness is a useful tool for tracking dogs, training dogs to track, for pulling carts, for pulling sleds, for securing a dog in a vehicle. You might you want to consider using a harness attached to a safety belt um, apparatus. But for walking, stick with a collar and a leash. All greyhounds, pretty much without exception, um, go to their new homes, retired racing greyhounds, wearing a martingale collar. <clears throat> martingale collars are awesome. All of my dogs wear a martingale collar. It's a collar that slips over your dog's head that you then adjust. It's a collar that the dog can wear comfortably, and then when you attach a leash to the D-ring, and you the dog is pulling or you're trying to control your dog or walk with your dog, the collar will actually cinch up another couple of inches preventing the collar from slipping off of the dog's head. Okay, the way that the greyhound is physically shaped and the way that the greyhound's head in proportion with its neck is, it's pretty easy for a buckle collar to slip right off, for a snap collar to slip right off. I well adjusted, and that's the key, always, you know, on a regular basis, check your martingale collar, make sure it's adjusted snugly but not too snug, um, isn't going to come off, okay? It's going to give you much more control over the dog. You're going to control the dog's head. You're going to control the dog and the dog's interest um, physically. Collar versus harness, always, always, always a collar, okay? Unless the dog has a physical need. I have harnesses. I have a lot of dogs, and some of the dogs wear a harness because they have a physical need. They have a, a, an issue with their throat, with their trachea, esophagus, can't have pressure on the throat, so they wear a harness instead. That is not the case with Josh. He's never never worn a harness. You're going to discover again. You've just got so much more control. And I know that this is a bit of a controversial issue. I know that there are a lot of people, a lot of people in, for lack of a better way of phrasing it, the dog community that endorse, that support, that promote the use of a harness. And God bless you. It's free country. You're welcome to do that. But if you want to maintain the most amount of control over your dog out on a walk, um, out in public and so forth, always a collar, always a properly fitting for a greyhound, martingale, no slip style collar. The leash, nylon or leather, personally I prefer the leather leash because it doesn't slide in my hand quite as easily. Either one perfectly acceptable. Um, a nylon leash is pretty easy to you know affix to your wrist, making a slip knot out of the handle. That's perfectly fine. Six feet in length, no more. Never a retractable leash ever. They're dangerous. They're dangerous. They're dangerous. You should not have your dog on a retractable leash. And you, can, you, know, you don't need any more than six feet. You can go shorter. You can go four feet. You can go to a two foot traffic leash to really keep your dog next to you. Okay? But good leash, good fitting, martingale, no slip collar for the most control. Until next time, Take your dog for a walk. Praise your dog. Love your dog. And remember what you've got on the end of the leash.